hello everybody this is out of the box unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to test for you this um, power bank with a, a compression function it's a ultimate speed UPK UPK <laughs> or UPK <-A. laughs> um, 10C1 available at lead and on the beginning um, I would say my my judgment is uh, negative but you will you will find out why later on okay I have prepared some uh, uh, some things to be tested. I will check the power bank by the application that I have on my smartphone. I will try to inflate this ball. I will try to um, uh, inflate a car tire, and I will uh, try to jump start a motorcycle because um, uh, I don't want to risk any damage on my car. So let's say I can sacrifice a motorbike but I will not risk a, a, a car um, it's so many things packed in such small thing that I don't know um, uh, how to start but okay let's start from the uh, from the beginning uh, it has a battery capacity of 14,000 milliamps which is in terms of a power bank decent in terms of a jump start uh, I don't know um, charge cycles 2000 Charging time up to eight hours. Take into in take this into consideration. Peak current up to 400 amps. It's a lot. So, um, but st uh, starting current it's at 200 amps. Still, a lot. Operation temper uh, temperature from zero to 60 uh, Celsius. So, I would say a first hint for those of you who want to use it in winter time as a jump start as a backup. The producer claim it should not operate uh, below zero Celsius degrees. So, I would say, for uh, for north north conditions for winter time, it's a no go. Uh, most likely, it will work, but uh, at least according to the to the producer, it cannot. So, forget it. In, yeah, I mean, officially, forget it uh, to use it in winter time. Uh, input voltage um, uh, 15 volts uh, for amps. Sorry, 0.4 amp. And USB output, um, it's uh, 5 volts, 1 amp, and 2 amp. And I will check it by this application. Uh, capacity for the for the power power bank, it's uh, 8,400 uh, milliampere hours. And I'm just asking myself, do they have uh, two separate batteries and what for? But um, okay. Uh, current consumption, it's uh, 10 amps maximum and in terms of the uh, inflation uh, capabilities uh, maximum pressure of the compressor unit is a uh, 10 bars maximum achievable pressure it's a uh, 3.5 so for standard car which is operating around two two bars two and half bar it should be more than enough um, uh, continuous uh, operation it's a maximum seven minutes and airflow rate it's a uh, 21 liters per minute uh, and I would say that's it so let's start with uh, with a power bank uh, capabilities as you can see I have an application uh, you can say it's not the, the perfect one uh, but uh, better than nothing so let's check the one amp my battery is it's a half full the power bank, the device is uh, charged properly, so I'm measuring and what we're gonna have 750 milliamps, it's a I need to show it again, it's a 1 amp 750 stable, so 75 percentage so if we take it into consideration so 2 amps should give you 1.5 which I would say good enough because we are at, at least I'm used to uh, that uh, what is claimed on the on the box it's not delivered uh, and it's it's worst let's wait a bit as you can see my my battery is somewhere in the middle of the uh, so it should not 
should so it should accept uh, as many voltage as uh, as it could stable okay so in terms of the, the the power bank i think we have the answer so it's not delivering what is promising i would say still good enough but forget about uh, two amps uh, second jump start cables and we uh, they are let's say they are feeling quite strong but i would like to point one thing there is no connection between bottom and uh, or between those how to say couplings thieves whatever you see so the current is just flowing into this part this is just for the decoration in professional uh, uh, in professional uh, parts there is a connection in between because as well the spring is not making any connection whatsoever it's uh, just a supporting plastic the spring itself it's it's strong so the the haptic feeling is it's it's nice but in terms of the flow current it will just flow with those by those thieves on the plus side as you can see they have jammed the the internal the core of the cable not the isolation because sometimes i i saw the chinese products are mounted with uh, isolation so the connection is even even lower so it could be a little bit better but we will come back to the jump start function uh, one remark uh, regarding this jump starter i have spotted it uh, just right now you see the uh, cable length and you you asking yourself why i'm trying to point this thing out the length it's uh, it's okay for the old car where the battery access it's 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 decent when the access is it's uh, uh, in old cars battery was uh, straight away under the the, 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 the hood in newer cars uh, more quite often the plus is somewhere near to the uh, battery but uh, the, the whole construction is uh, done in the, in the way that uh, either you will take off the whole battery which needs tools and sometimes the computer doesn't like uh, lack of the electricity uh, but the second point I mean the minus of course you can uh, plug into bare metal but in the modern cars I would rather uh, advise you to use the special point that is uh, highlighted by the by the manufacturer and such uh, minus point don't need to be near to the battery so you can end up not being able to connect it okay plus to plus minus to the bare metal but the bare metal it's the not the efficient uh, the most efficient way because the current need to flow and uh, just 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 one thing so actually I couldn't even try with my cars because uh, both of them that I have are have the the plus at the um, uh, at the uh, battery but the minus is let's say on the other end of the of the uh, engine bay so just please take this uh, into consideration uh, later on inflation so let's inflate this ball I have let's say prepare it but I'd like to as well point out some small but detail the gasket inside maybe I'm able to to show it it's it's jammed and it's uh, maybe in this will be better and it's falling apart here not here the gasket is it's done properly here I can take some parts of the gasket out so in terms of the reliability uh, who knows okay if this compressor failed the test of the of this football I don't think I will be proceeding with the car tire because last time when I was testing a compressor the dedicated compressor uh, <laughs> my tire actually uh, lost pressure even more uh, okay so 
it will be noisy so I will uh, try to cut out uh, the the noise uh, on the downsize it's not measuring the uh, the the pressure inside of the ball inside of the tire it's it's a pity I would expect to at least have this basic measurement um, okay so let's inflate I need, I will try to put it like this Okay, uh, one remark, my mistake, but it happens, it starts to showing the, the pressure, so uh, the pressure was, let's say, below any norms, so it was not able to show it, so sorry for that, it, it's showing. The second, it has inflated this ball efficiently, as you could see, it was quite, um, uh, quite fast, so um, thumbs, thumbs up very good so uh, what else left I mean I will try to inflate my car tire and I will try to uh, jump start the uh, the uh, motorcycle with this uh, with this um, uh, unit I'm super curious curious the the motorcycle is uh, 125 cc so uh, it's rather small but at least it will be the for me the, the the benchmark if it will if it failed on the jump starting uh, motorcycle uh, the car it will not uh, not be in the in his reach for sure as i mentioned for the car i will not risk uh, the the car so Please uh, excuse, excuse me. So, let's move into a practi further a practical test. As you can see, it, it's, it, has, it has done job properly. It has inflated by uh, one tenth of the atmosphere. So, test for the for the compressor, it's 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 positive.
As for the summary, let make it. I will try to make it quick. As for the power bank, I would say decent. As for the compressor, very nice. Uh, I have tested so uh, uh, and and compared to the uh, to what is my car showing, it's it's fine. Uh, but as for the jump start, it failed. So if it's for you the main function. Please don't count on it because it was not able to run a small 125cc motorbike. Uh, it jammed. It couldn't. I couldn't um, uh, make it uh, to start again. So uh, and even the um, how to say the the the, the intensity uh, intensity of the um, uh, ignition was. I could hear that it's not the same like with the battery, so I couldn't imagine uh, starting a regular car or <laughs> I would say diesel, forget about diesel. Uh, maybe it will be able to little bit help to support the, the weak battery, but it not uh, allow you to start it from the, from the very, very beginning. For the motorbike purpose, I have uh, turned on, uh, not turned on. I have to turn off the car uh, motorbike battery completely uh, but for the car it's most of the case it will be the the support for the uh, for the for the for the start and maybe I mean maybe it will help you but really don't count on it as a as a your last resource thank you for watching stay tuned and see you next time